<laughs> What's up, dudes? actually had this one just sitting around here for a while um, my dad picked it up at a yard sale probably three years ago for 40 bucks it's an ovation Viper and um, these Vipers <clears throat> I'm not sure what the pick guard was made out of it's sort of like a Bakelite material but with the front mounting jack like this breaks off at some point so you see these all the time with a broken jack so uh, that's how it showed up with a broken jack but it's it's a great guitar it's, you know it's pretty heavy it's a beautiful you know uh, flame maple and it's solid maple solid maple maple body a solid maple neck with a maple fingerboard and it's a separate fingerboard I don't know what that screw is for. Some friends of mine have been at, were debating like what that screw is for is because it's a fixed bridge. There's no tremolo. It's like, what's that adjustment? I don't know what it is, but to figure it out. But it's pretty cool. Not too shabby. Yeah, single coil pickups. Um brass I'm pretty sure is what these saddle pieces are they certainly look brass and um, what I wound up doing is I went to uh, um, WD and I had them make a make a pick guard for it this isn't it the one WD made was terrible it was horrible. <laughs> and, uh, we, uh, it was just, I, I never used it. And, uh, so I wound up, I went to, um, uh, this guy on eBay. And, uh, he had one for the Viper 3. And he had the, the right, the right, uh, white on the side. You know, the right, uh, you know, it's like solid white with just a little black cap on it, and then the cut through for the Viper, and the, you know, it's it's the right lettering. I mean, this guy, his repros are right on. So is he, I think he's the only guy on there selling a Viper three or a Viper pick card. So uh, I just recommend his stuff. This is really nice pick card. That wasn't cheap. It was like fifty five dollars. So my total cost on this guitar is up to ninety five dollars. <laughs> But pretty good. I said all maple, and uh, and the pickups have a pretty good bite. I actually had to uh, adjust. I'm running TH2, and I'm running. Um, this is the Randall T2 head, but I really had to EQ it for this guitar, or else it was just it was too bright. It was just incredibly bright. Here's the uh, bridge pickup. It's pretty bright. You know, I mean, it's a maple body, maple neck, maple everything, plus single coil pickups. That's going to be pretty bright. on the tone knob of the tone can go And then, uh, 
Here's the front pickup. like this guitar I um, I would have had it going sooner but um, the WD pickguard was such a failure that happened pretty quickly I just got sort of like meh whatever I'll get to it when I get to it and then um, I don't know something brought me around to it recently and I was like oh you know what I should probably try and find a pickguard so I did a little search and uh, Found a, found a great dealer for Picard. I wish I could remember the guy's name, but he's the only guy on there selling Ovation Viper. <laughs> Picard, so it's pretty easy to find. And, uh... by raising the gate of hair. That's still pretty good. Oh, there it goes. Right here. It's still there, but it's just not as uh, prominent. in the G. Good. <laughs> Jeez, the guy can sing his ass off too, huh? I mean, uh, one of the few guys I've ever heard uh, cover, uh, you know, like the Almond Brothers whipping post and pull it off, you know? A lot of guys might try it, but. Yeah, it's a tough song to really sing the way it needs to be sung, so, you know, he's, he just, he's a belter, man. He's really good. Um, I have another one on here. Which one do I like here? Yeah. Ooh.
been fooling around with this one. I have a phaser on it. And I think I have the patch set to have the phaser on it. But you can you know, obviously turn it off. check out the Van Halen tour uh, we were gonna get tickets and then you know the cost with service fee and all this other crap was like 340 something bucks and we just couldn't bring ourselves to do it <laughs> I said I'll watch it on YouTube and uh, that's exactly what I did because the show I would have missed the Boston show at the TD Garden uh, it's all over YouTube. In fact, this one guy, front I think it's called Front Row Dave, I think. He's got almost the entire show. He's missing the synthesizer songs, and I wonder if that's on purpose, if he's, like, purposely boycotting them or just taking them off. I don't know, but Jump and I'll Wait are both missing. But uh, uh, he's got every other one, and, man, the footage, you can get just some really good close-ups of Eddie playing, and, man, he is on fire. They just, they, uh, you know, Dave is sounding a little strained, but, you know... It's like you just love the you love the characters, so you're willing to put up with uh, you know some strained notes uh, throughout the uh, night. But boy, Ed was sounding good. He really, really was. I thought Wolfie sounded good too. You know, um, played played his part, did what he needed to do. <laughs> That's about it. A little quick video about the Viper I brought back from the dead. And, uh, pretty interesting guitar. And, it, you know, it's one of the better models. You don't really see a flame like that on a lot of them. Call it a night. Rock on.